Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Alathrex. And of course, welcome at long last to a build which is going to be using the spider legs. And on top of that, we're going to be doing something else today, which I have been sort of ignoring this whole time for some reason, which is this. The clockwork wasps, the dragons, the Sky Kraken, the giant bees, the pirates, all of these little enemies which have just been sitting there, slowly sapping away from my income. So hopefully today, we are going to make spiders to kill dragons. That may seem like an unfair fight, but to be fair, the spiders will have cannons and missiles, so it's not as uneven as it may first seem. So then, let's get straight into it, and spider legs. But before we do that, Let's have a quick look-see at how much each of these can carry. So you, the little baby legs, can carry 675. The regular tracks, where are you, the... Just medium tracks? Is it just not tracks? There we are, tracks, yes, which are the small tracks. You can carry 2,000. And then our spider legs, which we have just researched, bang. 23,000. Now, we do have the large tracks now available, and only 9,000. For some reason, I was expecting you to be better than the spider legs, but apparently not. The spider legs seem to be the highest amount of carry capacity of any of these propulsions. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know why I... Okay, I am somewhat surprised by that. Anyway, what do we want then out of this craft? Ultimately, we want it to be a pretty roundabout craft. One which can do any job decently, not a specialised craft. So I'm thinking we have torpedoes, we have flak, and then we just use a telescope and stuff like that to make them as accurate as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Then maybe have some defenders on the inside, because I know for a fact that the enemy spiders we encountered in the missions could board us, so I can only assume we can be boarded by some of these miscellaneous enemies. That makes sense, right? It makes sense to me anyway. So then, let's get started. So, to begin with, of course, we do need coal, because the legs need coal. We are incredibly fast right now. I don't think that's correct. 1,726 kilometers per hour. That's very, very fast. Um, so, I was just testing out how many rifles we could put down with our current white capacity, and, um, well, we've not even hit 4,000 yet. I'm now just getting the sense of how much white we can actually use on this thing. This is, in comparison to the airships, this is a little bit mad. I've started to put down the basics, and we've just about scratched white. A little bit. Tiny bit. We could make this way bigger than I originally intended, which I'm very, 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 very tempted by. Very much so. Yes. Now, for people who've been around for a while, you will know I actually do have pet tarantulas. I've always had pet tarantulas. In fact, I used to breed tarantulas to help me get through university because people would buy the baby tarantulas and thus I'd get money. And thus I could afford to eat noodles. But either way, I like spiders is the point I was going to make there. So we could make this very spider-like, you know, have an abdomen, have a little head section, have guns coming out of the back. I mean, they do throw hairs, at least certain species do from the new world. But, yeah, we could make this really creepy. And, to make it even creepier, what if it fired babies from its butt? Babies with rifles. You see, originally I was going to build basically a mobile city, now I just want to make a really evil spider. <laughs> and to be fair, the head wouldn't be correct on a tarantula anyway, since it's basically abdomen, huge section here, eyes there, mouth there. It's not really like a separate third. You get the idea. Hmm. Now the problem is, I want quite a few of these weapons, so how am I going to do this? Ooh, it looks like I could just put them down here, like this. But what weapon would look most like a fang? Ooh, maybe the upside-down ventral turret. Chance of that hitting anything from that location is low, though. I mean, yeah, it needs to be lower than the spider to actually hit it with this thing, and that's expensive and heavy. The white, obviously, not an issue, but... 
it's just it's just too much of a waste. It's too much of a waste. They can't do. Ooh, a sword blade. Because <laughs> who wouldn't want a tarantula with a sword blade for a face? I mean, I'd probably have one. We could make it a flamer. Two giant flamethrowers for a face. I mean, it's quick. This thing was burned down buildings. The problem is it would be shot up all the way along, but this would be quite a vulnerable version of my original idea. And a flak along the back. Ammo store could go here. No, a bit vulnerable though with the coal store right there, but still. Then give it really, really heavy armor. Wow, we have not researched any armor, have we? Can I just put stone wall here everywhere? I can! Massively slows it down, but that would be very hard to just outright kill. Ah, too many ideas! I came into this with too few ideas, now I have too many. Gosh darn it, building games. Hmm. Do still kind of want some flak, though. Definitely going to need more crew. I will happily maximum crew this thing, because we're going to have so few of them active at any given time. It's going to be a special one. The piranha and stuff, I'm basically going to use them with, well, there's going to be lots of them at any given time. This thing, no. Not even going to try and say that name. Well, we're getting there. Maintenance 53. Yeah, this thing is so inefficient it hurts. Going to put a little telescope there, because why not? And then I'm going to have another weapon, because why not? And that'll be a tiny little baby flamethrower down here. Just pretend it's a fang, it'll be fine. There we go. What have I built? Well, that's pretty Why is there a berth that's trying to move there? Go away. 30 out of 35 crew. Yeah, that's fine. We, we do have an extra one person already, so that's fine. These will be fired off straight away. It can still almost go 500. Well, it's much faster than our airship still, so... Yeah, let's save this as something. For now, I'll just call it Spider. I'm not quite sure what I want to call it. I could call it after one of my spiders. Hmm. Now, one thing we could add... <laughs> <laughs> spider Bay. Spider Bay. Spider Bay. Literally robotic spiders. These mechanical terrors can tear apart enemy crew with ease, but are too simple to defend or take over ships. <laughs> wow, that would be just horrendous. Maintenance cost is only two. Hmm. You know? Maybe we should have spider children. Where would the spider children go, though? Darn, I've kind of already finished off what I want the craft to look like. Hmm. Could just make the abdomen bigger, bring it further down, and just pop, just pop this, like, here. The problem is this is really far away from the enemy as well, so I doubt they're going to actually get to the enemy in time, but... Uh, no, let's leave that for now. Let, oh, but when else am I going to use spider borders? The thing is, though, we're burning down the enemy. I don't really want our stuff on board the enemy, so I think, yeah, just leave it as it is. It's being built, the fire leg, because there is the Mexican fire leg. There's also the red knee and all sorts of other ones, because common names change. But still, the fire leg. And that will fight against something. Hmm, you know what, maybe I'll build it somewhere else. I kind of want to send that against, you know, buildings. As much as I do think it will die against, obviously, the super fortified area over here. In fact, sent by. Um, don't really fancy it fighting some of the... Okay, yeah, fight the pirates. That's fine. Where are you going? You're going home. Good. Maybe I'll make two of them. Maybe I will make two of them. It'll just die against the Sky Kraken, of course. Now, I've been told you can intercept enemies. I don't know how that works. So I'm clicking you, they're on their way, but if I click on the enemy, I can't do anything. If anyone knows how to do that, because I've been told multiple times now, feel free to tell me, because I have no idea. Because all I'm doing is this, which I've been doing the whole time, so people probably wouldn't tell me to do the thing I've already been doing, which would be weird. Uh, would like the less maintenance, but let's go for the planes finally. In fact, no, let's go for the heavier armour. Seriously, been just waiting around for heavy armor for ages. There we go. Massive stone walls, for instance. 
medium steel armor. Let's go with that. Also, that gives us the imperial cannon, and then eventually the heavy cannon, and then the heavy turrets. All stuff I want as well. Okay, you're going away. Still building. We now have the imperial cannon and medium steel armor. Now we'll move over to... Hmm, that's medium steel armor then. Where's the best armor? Ooh. Plus 50% steel armor blast absorb. Considering missiles are our weakness, we should really go for this. In fact, we could get it now. But I think I want the heavy steel armor first. So we need this one. So we need heavy cannon to unlock heavy steel armor. Then we'll go for extra blast absorb. For now, though, we'll just use stone on our... Yay, you're done! Fire leg, where do I send you? Where do I send you? Pirates? Pirates. The pirates just sent out an attack. Well, that seems like a good type. Whoa, you are quick moving. That's a normal speed. Hello there. Do I send you further back or... Well, actually, no. I kind of want you right in the front, don't I? It's kind of weird to think that. I guess just keep moving forwards, really. The swarm is moving out. Slowly. Their little rifles. Burn, baby, burn. You know how you meant to kill fires with spiders? Well, too bad. This is what you get for that. Go swarm! Oh dear swarm. Did you just take a cannon to the face? Well, all the swarm's dead. Ha! Oh, I love these. Wow, the stone armor just survived everything, though. That swarm just... <laughs> it just vanished. That is the best thing I've seen so far in this game. <laughs> wow. Just... Wow, I guess you probably need a repair, but still, that was awesome. Now, if I send you against the dragon and stuff, I'm, I'm just assuming you're going to die, but... We could try to send you against the dragon and see what happens. Or the wasps. Though I think the wasps... Hmm, not sure. Alright, move back. God, you move so quickly! You could actually be a defender! There'd be tales from the other empires talking about trying to ride into our ter into our territory and massive spiders rising from the cities, burning down their airships, or swarms escape from their abdomens. <laughs> Admittedly, that swarm did just get obliterated. I have been told these are pretty vulnerable, and yeah, it seems that way. Oh, I kind of want to risk it, but I kind of don't. So I've decided what we're doing is we're sending in three piranhas to begin with just to see what the clockwork wasps are like. I know for a fact that either the wasps or the bees can board you. I don't know which. There is also the dragons. We could send this versus the dragon. See how that goes. I feel like that's going to go bad as well, though. I mean, we'll do a flak. We'll do a flame if they get in front of us. Hmm. Okay. So, spider versus dragons, eh? Is flame even going to be effective? You know, I'm starting to think this is a terrible idea. Also, I really don't like flak. Maybe it's because I've built it so high, but that... Ah, I'm just so worried about that. You know what, yeah, to start off right there, I mean, we kind of want to get close to the enemy. They're going to be able to catch up with us so quickly. And just stay low to avoid our flak, so... Also, the sun is coming from the right, so realistically we should move straight away. Like, one hit then from the flak. The swarm has been released. And we are walking into the enemy and burning them. Hopefully the fire does do damage versus them, I really don't know. And already our flak is useless. Unless they go over us, of course, which is pretty good. And we've lost control already. Yeah, that's just not going to work out for the best, is it? Let's build ourselves a new fire leg, though. Where are 
are you? Let's build two. We do still have the one over here. The wasps I'm not even going to go close to for a while until the piranhas have got there. So you, let's make a move and let's see if we can start taking over some of the enemy's land. Actually, change of plan, move over here instead. Okay, wasps, what do they do? That's the question. And fire already on, good. Move back. They send swarms of wasps. Now the question is, are these borders? Or are... Whoa, did you just get hit by lightning? That was terrifying. Yeah, are they borders or are they just weapons? That's my question. Oh god, just keep moving. We're about to find out. They haven't boarded us yet. Keep firing. Oh no, no, they're definitely bored. Okay, yeah, we're dead then. We have no anti-boarding ability. Just keep trying to kill- oh darn it. Just keep trying to kill him please- okay, they've jumped from one to the other. Just keep on moving then, lads. Ah! Also running out of coal because of the constant movement. Okay, you're already boarded, so in that case move as far away as possible. Hmm. Are you back up and running? Weird. Oh, fully bored. Okay, they're now coming for this one. Move. Can you focus on firing, please? Oh, you already are. Oh, no, you're all dead. You're all dead. That's why. We did, like, no damage versus them. Everything kills us. At least now I know what we're fighting. So, it seems like you sort of need specialist vehicles for both. Did you just get hit by lightning? I mean, it's cool, but still. Lost all three piranha. Well, that could have gone better, couldn't it? So, I wasn't paying attention, and... The enemy have fully invaded here. Without destroying any of the build- Explain yourself, blue team. I was about to say, um, I have retrofitted the fire leg, but apparently that's- less um, interesting than what just happened over here. And you just killed the bees as well. I am very confused right now as to what just happened. But yeah, the new fire leg, it has two aerial torpedoes, it has one less flak and one less dorsal. In fact, two less flak, one less dorsal. Well, good job we are here to um, take it back then instantly. Huh, I'm going to just continue to invade their land, if that's okay with you. I'm guessing you weren't just going to surrender. Yep, there goes the aerial torpedoes anyway. Whee! Ooh, in fact, go on aimed fire, so that'll be default next time. Where are you going? Oh, you're going there. I want to attack you with this, because this will be more fun. Whoa! Holy crud. I can see why you won. Um... I believe in this thing. Well, I was hoping maybe one lucky shot or something, but apparently not. So, yeah, we need more piranhas. We need them right now. You're currently building piranhas, and you know what? So are you. So are you. This is the version, yeah. This is the new version, which doesn't have the chamber. Okay, change of plan. We're going to invade here instead. Let's take out this whole enemy. Whoa. Of course, it is heavily reinforced. It is one of their shipyards. There go the torpedoes, and decent damage, and a miss. And our airships were pretty much taken out instantly. Okay, torpedoes, you're doing a good job. Now we're closer. Now we're close enough. Begin the burn. Yeah, these this spider is very hard to kill, it seems, which is nice for us, being that the spider is our unit. 
I wonder if aimed fire even affects flyers. Finish off this building, please, so we can get past. Come on. Ooh, nasty. I will be surprised if we win this, but it is looking good. Oh, right in the face. Glorious. You need to repair, don't you? Yeah, you lost some module. Actually, do you? It's hard to tell sometimes. It doesn't look like you have. In that case, let's just invade um, the neighbouring area. You should surrender, and we can have a quick look-see. No, it looks like we're okay. The day, once again, is ours. Ooh, you probably won't surrender. As per usual, march forwards. Ooh, first torpedo hit did loads. And our aircraft died almost instantly. Because they have way too many rifles. Triggered spider! So this is their last... Oh god. So this is, yeah, this is their very last bi uh, shipyard. Build yard? Build yard. And we're even attacking in the sunlight. Um, you know what? Let's flee. Let's not do that. And instead, let's invade this. Wait. Oh, that is so easy to exploit. So if I attack that and flee, I can then just go past it anyway. The weakness of land ships is they have to use roads, but I've just kind of ignored that. That's more like it. I'll avoid doing that in the future, because that just seems a bit cheesy. Those poor airships! At least they're a distraction. I mean, a few of their rifle shots have to be dedicated to that for a while. Uh, we're on fire. Thank you. They're on fire. Torpedo misfire? What just happened? I've lost my abdomen. Torpedo? What? What was that? Is that something that can just happen? If so, then I'm very worried. Very, very worried indeed. Uh, what do we have here? We have two of those. Over here we have one piranha. Ooh, we could try and capture some of their aircraft. The problem is I have quite a few aircraft, so I don't think I really want to do that just yet. Um, that's going to take forever. Might as well get back there and just repair. Okay, we're going to be naughty and send an invasion fleet down. This is, of course, the Wrath and Piranha group. You are all there to capture things. Perhaps we could try and capture some of their ground forces. Um... You do need to repair, though, so repair first. You're trying to take over that, so you go and defend. You'll probably lose, but at least you can do some damage to them on the way. Did we get there on time? No, we didn't. Two versus one. And we can apparently go a little bit higher than you. And goodbye. How many bombs do you have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. None of these things are so effective. Yep, you're going away, and I'm going to chase you. Got some defense there. Okay. Oh, good. And we've just got heavy steel armor. So now let's make our armor more blast resistant. Um, 
Yeah, we can just kind of stand there if we wanted to and use our rockets. You, move up. All of you. In fact, you first. Go for them. The rest of you are going to try and get this guy. So let's see what happens. And that was that, pretty much. I'm so glad we have the chambers and the balloons. How have we not won? Okay. That's ours now. Let's invite that as well. Let's be really annoying to them. You, as soon as that's ready, get repaired. Swarm. You can move here just as, as a defense force. You're the capturing force. Your piranhas, okay. Just wait around for a while, basically. Good, we just landed. And once again, we can go above you, which means... Oh, that wasn't particularly accurate, but still. Accurate fire. There we go. Why did you move like that? Admittedly, I am in fast forward, so I'm not really paying too much attention because this is a pretty guaranteed victory. Otherwise, we'd be here all day. There we go. We are now officially scaring the locals. Hmm, this is going to be painful. This is going to be really painful. We very well might lose this fight, to be perfectly honest, but we'll give it our all. Bombs away. If we can take this, we now have a foothold in the blue territory. Make sure you're nice and high, so when you get knocked out of the sky, you basically land on the enemy and detonate. Okay, move forward a bit, so there's some space for the others. Keep on trying to bomb the active ones, if at all possible. Excellent. And brutal takeover. Actually, no pillaging. Yes, pillaging. 200 income for a while. Lovely. Okay, you need to defend that. They're all now retreating to try and defend their homeland, which is great for us. You can finally be repaired. And soon we can invade this area and take that back off. Oh, in fact, yes, we do have the spy active, don't we? So, view city. 0%. Hmm. Is that because they have... Yeah, it must be because they have high um, secret police or something because, well, we're active in there. Still looking good for us. I think a lot of bad choices were made today, but I'm just having a bit of fun. Still suffering a bit from insomnia, and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who seemed so concerned in the previous video. So many lovely comments. Thank you so much. But trust me, this is something I have been fighting for years and years and years. I am just genetically disposed to having insomnia. My father had it and even suffered from hallucinations when he was younger. He still suffers from insomnia now. I suffer from it. And when I'm on any type of medication, both natural and, well, less natural, then I do suffer from very, very, very vivid nightmares. A verging on night terrors. Just, it's something I've always had. Work doesn't really affect it. It comes and goes every now and again. It's just part of the magic that is me. So with that rather depressing end, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I've had loads of fun today. The spider definitely needs to be rebuilt a bit better, but it's at least 
a ground vehicle that seems to be doing well. And it's just so much fun. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.